Hello guys, it's so exciting to have you all here. And I'm in the middle of all four of the fake Beatles. <laughs> Alright, I did a bit of background research on all of you. So, uh, your last name is Brosnan and apparently you are related uh, to the former actor Pierce Brosnan. Is he former? Former James Bond actor. <laughs> is that true? Uh, it's true. Cousin, distant cousin, they're not close. Do you have the same amount of chest hair? <laughs> I've never seen his chest hair. <laughs> but maybe it runs in the family, I don't know. <laughs> right, so Michael, you've got a lot of original songs that I listen to. Um, yeah. Is that, is, that on, is that intentional that they sound a lot like a lot of Beatles songs? Or is that just because you played a lot of Beatles music? Um, I don't actually intentionally mean my original music to sound like the Beatles, but... Um, we're lifelong fans of the Beatles, so it's it's hard to not sound like the Beatles in a lot of ways. We're all really influenced by the Beatles, no matter what project we're doing. We're a, you know what band isn't doesn't live under the shadow that the Beatles cast. You know what band doesn't? It's hard not to, but I don't intentionally set out and think right. I'm gonna put a Mellotron on this or whatever. It just that's what the song needs, so that's what I put on it. They're well, still brilliant. For listening to my music, though. I, really I did, it. and they're really, really good. Thank you. <laughs> How is it? What is it like being away from home for such a long time? Um, I mean, it's good fun. Uh, it is great being able to see different places and play different venues, and you know, it's fun making a living for music, obviously. But it is hard. You know, I've got a girlfriend back home and my family and friends, so it is. I've been on tour for a long time now, and it's kind of like. I need to get a little bit of a base going, so I'm looking forward to getting back. But at the same time, especially while we're in Europe, it's great to see everywhere and play, you know, all these great venues and stuff. So, yeah. Fun fact is that you are not left-handed, so you actually learned to play left-handed bass for this show. How long did that take you? I shaved myself with left-handed as well. It's true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I learned that. <laughs> That's too much information, Johnny, sorry. No, it was hard. I, I remember I, I was doing the, the first Let It Be Run uh, in London. And I, I, I was playing right-handed uh, at night, doing the show, and I was practicing left-handed in the home in the morning. And it was quite a bit confusing, but it was, it was hard. But now it's all right. Now, now I play left-handed for five years now, so it's OK. <laughs> and, <laughs> All right, thank you so much for the interview. That was a lot of fun. I've seen the original show before, the one three years ago. And uh, how's the new one different apart from the solo act? Is there anything, a tiny little spoiler you could give us? Uh, yeah, it is, it is, it is different. Second act, I, I, we're really enjoying it because it's new, it's brand new. And it's more rock. And, uh, well, if you like the Beatles... I mean, the four guys. I don't, obviously. You don't, yeah, of course. If you like the four guys, you, you like this show. Yeah. It's we play all the million selling hits because the Beatles all individually were amazing artists, obviously. So George had million selling hits, Paul, Ringo, everybody, you know, they all have massive hits on their own. So to get to tell that in this new part of the show is... You know, it tells the whole story of their lives from being, you know, 20 year old Beatles right to, you know, to being, you know, the, the, the individuals that we all love. And you're going to resurrect later? And um, we're going to resurrect all of that every night in here and in the daytime too. Great, thank you so much. Thank you.